right, guys, so here is the S21 Fan Edition. Now, so if you're a person out there who uh, every year buys the FE Edition, you probably had the 20 FE, which I thought was actually a really solid device when I purchased it a while back. I didn't keep it very long, maybe a couple of months, and then I got rid of it, maybe three months, I'm not sure, but I always want to test out and try out all uh, new products that come out. This device is provided to me by wirelessplace.com because this device officially doesn't um, launch in the US until January 11th. That's the announcement. So I've gone through the unboxing real fast. I uh, just get a USB cable in there. Same thing as before. Unfortunately, this is the new trend because uh, what if I didn't have a type C brick? They're kind of leaving us out there. That's got to be one of the worst things that companies have adapted and it's just silly. So I uh, didn't put anything on it yet, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a tour of the hardware. So you've got this new back on here. You've got this, the design is different than this one uh, on the S21. So if you didn't like the S21 with the two-tone, uh, you now have this one sort of unibody design here on the back and it comes in different colors as well. So this FE version comes in a six gig 128, eight gig 128 and an eight gig 256. I have the six gig 128 version. So uh, you've got a 12 and eight and a 12 for the camera with we'll dual tone LED flash. Uh, you've got volume and power. You got a microphone canceling up there and then on the bottom you have your SIM tray, microphone, type C and speaker. Now there's a lot going on with this device uh, that you probably can't see just by looking at it. It is a 120 Hertz display. HDR 10, uh, let's go into settings here. Now again, I haven't taken anything off, so I just kind of went through just to get to the front screen. So if you get this, this is what's gonna, this is how it's gonna look when you take it out the box if you decide not to. So as you can see there, there's Facebook. We'll get rid of that in just a second, but let's go down to display here and you go down, it's already defaulted to high motion. I did actually go through kind of the setup, like I said, but <clears throat> it came default with high motion, which is basically 120 Hertz turned on. So that that's pretty good. I'm, I'm excited that they, uh, have it set like that. So uh, I'll go ahead and turn on dark mode here. Uh, and then we're going to go to um, gestures here. And I'm going to turn off, uh, I have to turn off these gestures because um, I, I don't like using the buttons anymore down there. I remember when I was, I was a uh, not a fan of the buttons on the bottom. Uh, let me, oh Lord, I'm, I'm going, going crazy here. Let me just type in gestures or navigation. Yeah, I knew I saw it somewhere around here. So we're going to turn on gestures. This is what I have to use it this way. So um, now after the display, uh, let's show you what's in this thing. And um, you've got a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, obviously. Uh, and if you're looking for bloatware, Facebook is definitely one of them. And it comes right off. Thank goodness. I'm going to go ahead and change this layout here. Let's get rid of this. I wasn't going to do that, but let's just get rid of it. Let's get the home screen set up right where it's going to be five by six. This is to me the proper way to use these devices um, when using these elongated displays like this. It's kind of strange to have it any other way, I guess. So you get a four by four grid. And this is just personal preference here. But uh, if we look into the settings here, this is the typical Samsung setup here. So let's go to software. Uh, let's see what we're currently on. So we're on the November security patch and it's so weird. And this is also running Android 12, by the way. Uh, this is running Android 12 uh, and it is running um, 4.0, as you can see there. So even my Z Fold 3 is still on um, Android 11, even though 12 is rolling out to the Z Fold 3 uh, the unlock models, mine hasn't gotten it yet, so no, no big deal. So I'm gonna get this all set up here. Um, let's, before I get out of here, let's get into the camera. Let's go into video. Cause there's just some things I just wanted to see we'll, how we'll push the limits of this thing. So you do get 4K 60, uh, and then you at this rate, you get the 10 times zoom. So if we go to 4K 30, then you get all your wide angle options and things like that. And you get a three times zoom, which is pretty good. So, uh, and then you get a 12 times zoom on that with the, with the uh, 30 frames per second enabled. So 
Um, I'm pretty excited. This is a, a, a deal that some people kind of feel some type of way about it, but there's a lot of phone going on here. Because this is a replacement. This isn't a replacement to the S21 or the, the current S21 lineup. This is an addition to the S21 lineup because I've heard lots of chatter of people saying, oh, you know, you can buy the S21, but why would you buy this? Well, this phone, I think you guys have it all wrong. This phone is actually to replace the S20 FE. It was the same thing last year. Everybody said the same thing about the S20 FE. So that is what this phone is replacing, the S20 FE. And it is in fact a good replacement for that device. If you are a person who buys the fan editions every year, this is your device. And if you thought the S21 was too small at the 6.2 inch display, or you thought the S21 uh, Plus was too big at a 6.7, or even the S21 Ultra, the 6.9, this has a 6.4 inch display. So that's the difference. It's kind of another device inside of all of the other options that you have. Now this one does have pro video, slow motion, um, super slow-mo, uh, hyperlapse, dual recording. It has all the things, man, that is so strange. You can get just a really good deal uh, on this device if you, if you choose to get it. So um, again, this is going to be announced uh, on the 11th, but at the recording of this video, obviously I have it a little bit early. So. I'm gonna get this set up the way I like it and I'm gonna start using it, obviously. I think it's good that, that Samsung is doing something like this, giving a different option to those who uh, don't want to purchase the other options that are available uh, because there are some people out there that, that feel like the S21 Plus or the S21 Ultra are too big. Uh, and then the S21 was too small, so this is your option. So I have, a, I have a link to this down below so you can grab yours. I love the color scheme on here. It does come in different colors too. Like I said, green, blue, I believe, and this is gray. It comes in some other colors, white, I believe. But just check the link in the description for the current pricing uh, and you'll be able to grab yours. It feels really good in the hand. It does have facial recognition and an in-screen fingerprint reader. Uh, but for now, I just set up the, um, I set up the pin code. I just put some kind of fake pin code in there just to get me through the, the initial process. So I do want to look at the wallpapers also before I get out of here, because you can theme this. It's got widgets, just like everything else that, that Samsung has going on. It's, this is just a, and look at this. You have, you know, it's running Android 12 where you can do the color palette. So, uh, let's go to my wallpapers. And it's got pretty much the S21 Ultra looks like uh, wallpapers uh, to me from what I can tell. These look like the same ones on the S21 Ultra, or just the S21 lineup, I should say. So there it is, man, the S21 FE. Um, this is a this is a good look. Um, some people, again, feel some type of way about it. Let me go ahead and show you next to the, the fold. If you were curious, yeah, that's, I got a whole bunch of other phones I won't compare, but nonetheless, this is another option for those people out there who wanted another option, who have their own reasoning as to why. This does have that dynamic AMOLED display or whatever. Um, and it's just, a, it's another good option. I'm pretty sure this is gonna have fantastic battery. We will dig into video quality and cameras and things like that later. But I guarantee you this is going to be a hot device if you like Samsung products. So, and, and you know, another addition to the, the S21 lineup, this is good. So this is 2022 release. So Samsung held it for some reason all the way till now. Uh, I don't know why they did that, but they did it. And here we are. So uh, the S22 lineup is gonna come out and then obviously there's gonna be a S22 FE. But for now, this is a almost a middle ground device that you can get from Samsung. And um, I think you'll like this when you see how it feels in hand. It's actually pretty cool. So it's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed the introduction to the Galaxy S21 FE 5G. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.